Dr. Mason, welcome to my channel. Some weeks ago, I uploaded a video um, containing a text, and you, the viewers, the musicians, um, you have to fill in the answers. You know, of course, the text was about the Lydian romantic concept from Joseph's book. And if you don't have the book, I advise you to get a copy on Amazon, wherever. It will change your music life, believe me. And so the test, I, I uploaded another video with the answers. But I didn't explain anything because I was waiting for this particular video. So today now I'm going to explain the reasons why the answers are what they are. Right? Let's go. Now, test A. Chapter 5, page 56. Of course, that depends on the edition you have. And the first is B, B flat 7, flat 9. B flat 7, flat 9. Which is this. Now, B, B flat 7, flat 9. And we, have, we need to know a procedure. And um, if we have a seventh chord, in the Lydian theory, the seventh chord is not found uh, on the five, it's found on the two, the second fifty. So which means if this B flat seven, seven flat nine, then which means we have to go back one step. That's a procedure. B flat, you go back a whole step. So this is the the the, the Lydian tonic. Now once you are in that Lydian tonic tonic, of course that Lydian tonic generates uh, more chords. So you need to find the exact parent uh, scale as you can see there. So in this case to calculate it, you have to look at the chart at the beginning, and if you look at the second, the two chords, you will see that the, one, the, the first one with the B7 flat 9 is A flat Lydian diminished. Right? So, uh, A flat Lydian diminished, and you have the B7 flat 9. See? That is the two chord. One chord. Okay. So, which means uh, yeah, you can check it if you like. Um, let's have a just a cool um, groove here. Seventh, that is, we have to go 
a whole step to find the, the linear tonic. Now this is, linear, this is G flat, G flat linear. Just G flat linear. Although you can use any of the other um, scales to color the music. So let's see, let's check this here. If flat the 13. again you see that flat five chords appear in the on the second degree of the linear momentum that's when the first appear so which means we have to go the same if we if this is D, we have to go to C linear momentum right. so let's test that one and uh, D flat seven flat five Now, C linear augmented. Yeah, sounds in unity. That's, we are talking about C linear augmented. Mm -hmm. 
in Unity. Mm. Uh, next one. Um, next one is C eleven. Now C eleven. And if you look at the list, the chart, you see that the first time they are eleven color appears on it. Secondly, is with the pop uh, the Lydian itself. Lydian move itself. So you see that, which means the same. This is the chord. So we, we move back a whole step, and that's the Lydian tonic. See, this is what my Zenith was trying to say when he he told George Russell that he would like to know all the changes. He, he was really trying to say, George Russell uh, figured that out later, you know, that he was trying to say that he wanted to find another way of dealing with chords, of relating to chords, you know, because, you know, in those days, jazz, music, the chords were really heavy and a lot and changing fast and, you know, well, not, not always, sometimes. And so, uh, and this still is good because it, it helps you to uh, first of all, you wouldn't be, af be afraid of chords because you you will know them, and you you'll be able to associate this chord with that, you know, and uh, you see that it works now. So, I will put G eleven. Just a, a, a play linear, so we just simply have to play B flat linear. It says B7 sharp 5, and there's another procedure. Anytime you hear a sharp 5, that has to do with a Lydian augmented 
or it has to do with an auxiliary augmented or it has to do with an auxiliary diminished because of the seven scales only these three scales have a sharp five no? or that doesn't mean you cannot use any other scale to color your music no? because it was always repeating that at the end of the day it's music it's making music so this, these are just guidelines no? yeah. anyway there's a sharp five that is a linear augmented auxiliary augmented or auxiliary diminished so now what then in the bracket it says flat nine sharp nine wow. so and of course as 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 guitarists we have a kind of limited capacity of holding all these notes at the same time but let's say for example what was it b7 okay. b7 b7 sharp five okay so now um sharp sharp five flat nine right so we can we could have this what we could have the b7 flat nine Seven flat nine. E flat seven. E flat seven. Flat nine. E flat seven flat nine. Now, now, number one was B flat seven flat nine. 
and the PM scale was the the PMT was the A flat median diminished to a two. So second curve. So the same case here we have E flat seven flat nine. So E flat seven flat nine. We have just have to go one more step. Alright, so we are in the linear tonic and then we can specify now with the linear diminish. Now
for this G, we have uh, one. Well, this is the uh, this is a um, seven, as you can see, a seven flat five, just like in in the seven flat five of number three and number four. These are seven flat fives, and they are linear augmented. So here we have the same case. scale of E7 flat 5 flat 9 is D auxiliary diminished. D auxiliary diminished. So which means it's the the the, the um, second chord of D auxiliary diminished. It's D this is um, E the chord in question. So we can go to the uh, let's play the playback. Five, so that take, takes us to the um, takes us um, to the linear augmented. If I continue, this is B again, so we have to go B. Let's see the octave because we'll have more space.
from there, right, E flat. And we can we can play the E flat linear uh, augmented. A7, sharp 5, and it's exactly like the other, almost, yeah? No, 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 it's exactly. There's a A7, A7, there's a sharp 5, and we can make that a flat 5, and we can make that a flat 9, or we can make that a sharp, a sharp 9, like so. So the next one is C thirteen sharp eleven. C C thirteen sharp eleven. Now sorry. So the C13 sharp 11, um, C, if it 
necesito a ti puedo darte ese, ese el totín ya me le voy a dar su hijo y flag me ya me aumente el chapi le voy es como un flag 5 así que no lo hagas así por ejemplo 1, 2, 3, chapi 4 1, 2, 3, chapi 4, 5 así que flag 5 así que Doubts because I sure you will. Uh, don't don't hesitate. Please leave your, your your questions in the comment section. Okay. Um, so then that's all for now. See you in the next video and please remember to subscribe.